Hi guys, I hope everyone's well and doing okay. So today I'm gonna to go through a nice yoga for strength video. So oftentimes people think that, or if they don't know much about yoga, they just think that yoga is just stretching and just breathing, but we can build a lot of strength in it. And even in the most subtle forms, we can build strength. You can be activating muscles that you never even knew were there. But today we're gonna to work on building some of that strength though. But we will of course start with some nice breathing just to center us, just a really nice gentle relaxed breath to settle us in and set ourselves some intentions for the practice. So joining me somewhere on your mats, I'm gonna to come to stand to the top of my mat. You may want to join me there as we will start to flow through there. Getting yourself nice and comfortable. So I'm gonna take my feet together, but you could have your feet at hip-width distance apart if that feels better for you, wherever feels nice and comfortable. And then together, we're gonna to be taking some breaths with arm movements. So we're gonna be taking five of them. And what we're gonna do is take our arms up to the side, gather the breath up to the sky or ceiling. The hands will come to a prayer position and then you'll exhale down in front of your chest. So when we're ready, we're gonna inhale, take those arms up to the side, gather that breath up to the sky or ceiling, hands to a prayer, and then exhale down in front of our chest. Four more. Inhale, take those arms out to the side. Gather that breath up to the sky or ceiling. Hands to a prayer. And then exhale down in front of our chest. Three more. Inhale, take those arms out to the side. Gather that breath back up to the sky or ceiling. And then exhale down in front of our chest. Two more of those. Inhale, take those arms out to the side. Gather that breath up to the sky, hands to a prayer, and then exhale down in front of your chest. And then one final one, inhale, take those arms up to the side. Gather that breath back up to the sky, hands to a prayer, and then slowly and gently exhaling back out, down in front of your chest. Keeping the hands in a prayer position in front of the chest, Relax our shoulders, tuck that tailbone under. Taking some moments here for yourself. Connecting in with that breath. Taking a moment of stillness. Now from there, I'm gonna bow my head down so my fingertips can touch between my eyebrow space. And I'm just gonna set myself an intention and then send out some love to the collective, to the world, send out lots of love and healing. Something that we need more than ever right now. You may wish to join me and do the same. And then exhale, release, take the hands down, lovely. So, and just getting into your body, so we're just going to start preparing to go for our flow. So we'll take it slow at first, we're going to warm up gently, find some space in the body. So this might be the first bit of yoga you've done all day, or all week, or ever even. It's definitely the first bit I've done today, so our bodies need a little bit of warming up first. So, just relaxing down, getting into that body. I'm going to just start going through some gentle neck circles, just nice and easy. So I'm going to take my chin down to my chest and start circling my head to the left side to begin with, and just taking my head round. So joining me doing this, if anyone has any neck injuries, maybe just avoiding this or taking your circles a little smaller. And then just reversing that circle. Beautiful, and then eventually we're gonna come back to neutral. Lovely, so nice and open. Perfect, so once again, we're gonna inhale, take our arms up to the sky, hands to a prayer, and then exhale down in front of our chest, preparing for this flow. Inhale, carve a line up to the sky with those hands, separate the hands at the top, you're gonna to stretch up, and then you exhale and just float forward into a forward fold, softly folding, so gentle fold. You may then want to bend one knee, then the other, try to keep a long spine. First forward fold, so be really gentle. Ease out through that body. <clears throat> and then once again, inhale, take those arms back. 
have that breath up to the sky, stretch up, and then exhale, folding forward softly, and then again, bending in one knee, then the other, squeezing out, finding some space, and then once again, inhale, take both arms up to the sky, and then stretch up, and exhale to release. Ease out through that body again. Wonderful. So now from here, we're gonna lift up to a halfway position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten through our back, long spine goes forward. The hands are gonna come to the top of the thighs, elbows bent and staying hugged into the side body. You can have a micro bend in the knee or a big bend in the knee, whatever feels best for you. And then just long spine, gaze forward, keep that spine nice and long. Just take some breaths there. So hopefully we're maybe starting to feel that in the back of our legs. Taking a moment, some breaths here. And then exhale to release, take those hands down, back down towards the ground, maybe bend the knees to take the hands down. So once we're there, we're gonna plant the hand and we're gonna step back into a plank position. So in your plank, just finding some space in your body again. So maybe just rocking a little from side to side, opening through, maybe moving one heel back and the other, and just opening up or just warming up. Lovely. So now from there, we're gonna inhale and we're gonna come up into our first downward facing dog. So bump those hips up to the sky. And then find your way to that down dog, and then maybe walking that dog, one heel and the other, maybe rocking from side to side. Lovely, and then when we're ready, we're going to start stepping one foot in front of the other, all the way to the top of our mat, finding yourself in a nice forward fold, bending those knees, being gentle, maybe coming into those movement so bending one knee then the other and then when we're ready you're going to inhale take the arms back up to the sky hands to a prayer and then exhale down in front of our chest lovely getting that movement in now and then once again inhale take those arms back up to the sky and then exhale forward fold moving into that body again Maybe moving from side to side or bending in those knees. Planting the hands and we're going to step back into that plank pose. So again, maybe rocking from side to side, just work, waking up slowly. Once again, maybe taking those steps backwards and forwards. Wonderful, and then we're going to inhale, bump those hips up to the sky, back up, downward facing dog. Easy now, working into that dog. So our first dogs can walk however we like, we can just work into them. And then this time we're going to take one big step to the top of the mat, so if that doesn't feel good for you, Come in to join me at the top of the mat in any way that feels good for you. Nice fold, bend the knees as much as we like, and then inhale, take those arms up, hands to the sky, hands to a prayer, and then exhale down in front of our chest. Taking a moment there. Wonderful. And then inhale, take those arms back up to the sky, and then exhale, lay it down. Forward fold. Bend those knees. Taking the hands down, we're going to step back into that plank position. We're going to drop our knees down to the ground. <clears throat> and then we're just going to lower our whole belly, our whole body down to the ground. So staying on your toes for the first one or coming up if you want to. Or coming up with your toes if you want to. Whatever feels good for you, you can just warm up slowly. So from there, we're going to bend in those elbows, take the body forward slightly, bend the elbows and just take that body down to the ground. Lovely, tuck the toes flat, hang on to that belly. And we're going to be taking a nice baby cobra, so our hands are planted next to our chest, our shoulders are next to our side body. 
And what we're going to do is we're going <coughs> to inhale and we're going to start picking up that front half of the body. Just do a bit of so we stay in a bend in the elbows. So we're going to inhale, push through those hands and lift the chest up, gaze forward, relax the shoulders down. Take a moment there. Maybe separate the feet if that's too much of the back. And then exhale down. Wonderful. Tucking those toes, we're going to activate those quads. And we're going to inhale and pick the body back up into a nice plank position. And then bump those hips back up to a nice downward facing dog. Maybe walking that dog. Maybe the heels are up, be nice and kind. And then inhale, taking one step or a few steps to come to that forward fold at the top of that mat. Taking a breath and then inhale, take your hands up. And see the breath. Exhale down, front to our chest. Lovely. And then once again, we're going to inhale, take those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands and step back into that plank. And dropping the knees. We're going to now pick up the toes behind us if it feels good for you, you don't have to. And then you're going to lower that body back down to the ground. Bend those elbows, hugging the elbows in. Release. Lovely. So now this time we're going to go through some, what we call an intimidating cobra, just to warm up through our back. So we're going to take both hands up to the side. We're coming onto the fingertips and the elbows are going to face up towards the sky. And then from here, what we do is we inhale and we start straightening through our arms and we push our body up as far as feels good for you. And then exhale down. And we're going to go through five of those. So when you're ready, inhale, pushing that body up. Exhaling down. Three more. Inhale, push that body up. Exhaling down. Two more. Inhale, push that body up. Exhaling down. And one more. Inhale to push that body up. Exhaling down. Wonderful. Planting in those hands next to the chest again. Tuck those toes, preparing to lift back up into a nice plank position. So activating through the body, activate that core, protect to the back. Inhale, push the body back up. And then inhale back to the downward facing dog. Walk that dog out. And then we're going to inhale, step to the top of that mat, into that forward fold again. Inhale, take the arms back behind us, start to go a little bit faster. Hands to a prayer above the head, bring the body up to standing, and then exhale down in front of our chest. Lovely, take a moment. Adjust anything that you need to. And then inhale, take those arms back up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant those hands and step back into a plank. So this time, we have an option. So we can stay up and we can lower our body down to the ground from a full plank. Or you can bring your body back down onto the knees and maybe go from there or maybe take the feet up again. Completely up to you. But if you want to go from your full plank, so you're in your plank position, you're going to hug those elbows into the side body, just rock forward a little bit and we're just lowering straight down onto our bellies. So when you're ready, inhale and then exhale. Tuck those toes flat. So a belly flop is welcome, just get there in any way that feels good for you. Lovely, so now from here we're going to be moving into a full cobra. So we have a few options here, so it depends on your body and your back to you. So you could come into what we call a sphinx pose. So to do a sphinx we take our forearms out flat in front of us and we just lift the upper half of the chest up and then we just relax shoulders and gaze forward. But if you want to join me in a full cobra, the hands stay planted next to the chest, we're going to activate through that core and then you're going to inhale and push the body up, straightening through the arms, relax the shoulders down and then gazing gently forward or slightly up. If that's too much on your back, maybe separate the feet or come back down to your sphinx or a low cobra like we did before. And then just take some breaths there. Wonderful. So now, when you're ready, you're going to activate through that core again. You're going to inhale, peel the hips back up, protect the back, mount the knees, tuck the toes, and then back to that plank. 
and then up into that downward facing dog and then just walk that dog out. The walking of the dog may help release any tensions that we build in the back. So just ease it back out and then stepping to the top of the mat, back into that forward fold. Maybe bending the knees and then inhale. Hands to a prayer, exhale down in front of our chest. And then inhale, take those arms back up. Exhale, float the hands down to the ground. Easing out again, maybe rocking side to side. Inhale, plant those hands, step back into that plank. So we're gonna go for that lowering again and choosing now which back bend feels best for you. Wonderful. So now wherever you are, you can drop down onto those knees if you want to, or you can stay up in your full plank. Together we're going to lower our bodies down to the ground and take that back bend. So you're going to hug those elbows into the side body, maybe rocking slightly forward, bending those elbows, active core, and then you're going to inhale and exhale to lower the body down to the ground. Belly flapping is totally welcome. And then tucking those toes out flat, so I'm going to be coming up into a cobra but you can come out into a sphinx, if you're to come into your sphinx, taking those forearms out flat, lifting that upper half of the chest up, relax the shoulders and gaze forward, maybe separating the feet to protect your back, or if you want to come into that cobra, hands are next to the, the chest area, and then active core, we're gonna inhale and push the body up. Relax those shoulders, and then take some breaths there. And then we're going to activate through that core. We're going to inhale, peel the hips back up, chuck the toes, step back into that plank position. And then from there, inhale, downward facing dog. Now we're going to be doing something just slightly different, starting to build that little bit extra strength. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant through our right foot, so keeping the foot down to the ground or on the heel. And then we're going to inhale, we're going to straighten through our left leg and then we're going to on an exhale bend our knee and we're going to travel our knee over to our left elbow hugging it up and then just taking a nice breath there and then inhale kick that leg back again and then we're going to exhale and this time bend the knee and we're going to twist over to the right elbow and then inhale kick that leg back up straight and then this time on an exhale we're going to travel the knee forward so the foot is coming to place in between the hands. So you can use your left hand to help you get there. Bind yourself comfortably. And we're gonna drop that back knee down, tuck our toes out flat. Check in with our left knee, making sure it's over our left ankle. And then we're either coming onto our fingertips or working down to come onto the palms of our hands. Taking a nice breath, relax those shoulders. And just find a stretch there. Wonderful, and then when you're ready, you're going to chuck those back toes, activate that core again, maybe come onto the fingertips, peel the back knee up, and then you're going to take that left leg back, travel through your plank, and then inhale back to that downward facing dog to prepare to do the same again on the opposite side. So, planting through the left foot this time, we're going to inhale, kick that right leg into the air, and then that right knee is going to bend, and you're going to take that right knee on and exhale over to the right elbow. And then inhale, take that right leg into the air. It doesn't have to be fully straight, be gentle. And then exhale, twisting the body, bending the knee, taking the knee over to the left elbow. And then inhale, kick that leg back up. And then this time, exhale, taking that knee forward, traveling forward as far as we can. So take the right foot to plant in between the hands. Use the right hand to help you if needed. Drop that back knee down, tuck the toes out flat. Check in with that right knee, make sure you're over right ankle, either coming onto those fingertips or working down onto the palms of the hands. Relax the shoulders and then gaze forward and take some breaths there, long spine. Nice stretch. Wonderful. So now you're going to activate through that core again, chuck the back toes, pick up the back knee. And then this time we're rocking on the back foot so the back foot can come to meet the front into a forward fold again. 
taking a breath, long spine, and then inhale, take those arms back, grab the hands up, hands to the prayer, and then exhale down in front of our chest. And then once again, inhale, take those arms up. Exhale, forward fold along the spine. Bend the knees as much as you like. Lantern in those hands, we're gonna step back into that plank. And once again, we're lowering down to the belly in whichever way feels best for you. So you can come down onto the knees. We're gonna hook those elbows into the side body and start lowering down to the ground. So bend those elbows. Tuck the toes out flat. And then we're going to be taking a back bend here. So your choice, I'm going to a cobra, so the hands are next to the chest. Inhale, push the body up, long, long through the body. Relax those shoulders, gaze forward. And then activating through that core, inhale, peel the hips up, tuck the toes, back through plank, and then up into that downward facing dog. Lovely. And then once again, we're going to inhale, take our left leg into the air, bending that left elbow, take that knee, or bending that left knee, sorry, take that knee on and exhale over to the left elbow. Inhale, take that left leg back into the air, and then exhale, bending the knee, taking it over to the right elbow. And then inhale, take that left leg into the air. Exhale, bending the knee, taking it right through so the left knee, left foot can come in between the hands. So take your time getting there, maybe use your left hand to help adjust to bring the foot forward. This time we're going to keep the back knee up if that feels good for you. Hands are going to plant next to the foot, you're going to find the long spine, gaze forward. Maybe just rocking a little bit just to get in alignment and get into your comfort. And then just finding a nice stretch there. Wonderful, now planting through those hands, take that left leg back, travel through plank, and then inhale, downward facing dog. Preparing to do the same again on the opposite side. So planting in that left foot, we're gonna kick that right leg into the air, it doesn't have to be fully straight. And then we're gonna bend in that right knee, and we're gonna take that right knee over to the right elbow. And then inhale, take that leg back. Exhale, bend in that right knee, twist and take it over to the left elbow. Inhale, take that leg back. And then bending in that right knee, we're gonna take it forward in between our hands. Use your right hand to help you. Keeping that back knee up, long spine, gaze forward, coming onto the fingertips or hands. Maybe just rocking backwards and forwards, get your alignment. Check our right knees over, right ankle. Long spine, gaze forward. Find a nice stretch there. Wonderful, so now we're going to take that left leg to meet the front into our nice forward fold. So you're going to rock on that back foot, left leg's coming to meet the front, forward fold. And then inhale, take those arms back and up, hands to the prayer, and exhale down in front of our chest. Wonderful, so now preparing again to go through the floor with a slightly slight bit more speed this time. So we're going to inhale, take our arms up to the sky and then exhale, rain it down, forward fold. Inhale, plant in those hands, step back into a plank. We're going to lower that belly down to the ground again, feel free to drop down onto the knees. So inhale and then exhale, bend in those elbows, hook those elbows into the side body, lower that body down to the ground. Tuck the toes out flat, we're choosing a back bend of your choice. So. You can stay down low in a nice sphinx pose, forearms flat out in front of you. Relax the shoulders, gaze forward, lift the upper chest. Or you can push up into that cobra. Hands next to the chest, inhale, push the body up, relax the shoulders, gaze forward. Take some breaths, feel free to separate the feet, protect the back. And then inhale, active core, peel those hips back up, tuck the toes, plank pose. And then inhale up to a nice downward facing dog. 
Wonderful. So, planting through those hands, planting through the feet, coming on to taking the weight onto the right foot, and we're going to inhale and take our left leg into the air. Doesn't have to be fully straight. And then on an exhale, you're going to bend the knee and take that knee over to the left elbow. And then inhale, take that leg back up. And then exhale, twist in the body, bend the knee, take that knee over to the right elbow. And then inhale, take that leg back. And then exhale, bending that knee, taking that knee forward, traveling through, and then that foot's coming to plant in, in between the hands. So you can use that left hand to help you get there. And now we have an option. So you can just stay here or drop the knee down, or we can travel through a high lunge. So knee, front knee's over front ankle, slightly behind the feeding. From here, active core, we can inhale, take our arms back and then start using that core to bring the body up, take the arms up. Hands are gonna kiss in the prayer position and you're gonna exhale down to the ground. And then you're gonna step that left leg back through plank and then inhale up into a downward facing dog. Preparing to do the same again. So planting through those hands, taking the weight mainly onto the left foot and then you're gonna inhale, take that right leg into the air. And then exhale, bend that right knee, take that right knee over to your right elbow. And then inhale, kick that leg back up. And then exhale, bend that knee over to the left elbow, twist. And then inhale, take that right leg up. And then exhale, take that right knee through, planting the foot in between the hands, finding those foundations, either just staying here or dropping that back knee down, or we have our options. So, we can planting through those planting through that right foot active core inhale take those arms back gather the breath up use that core hands kiss at the top and then exhale hands down to the ground and then this time you're going to take that left foot to meet the front into a forward fold so nice inhale rock on that back foot and then back foot to meet the front forward fold long spine and then inhale take those arms up to the sky hands to a prayer exhale down in front of our chest wonderful so now from here we're going to move into some warriors just getting some strength in our legs now too so we're going to inhale and we're going to step our left leg back as far as feels good for you. Hips are going to stay square to the top edge of your mat and your back foot is going to come onto about the 30 or 40 degree angle. Hips are square and forward. So our front knee, the intention is for the front knee to come and sink over that front ankle or be slightly behind, wherever feels best for your body today. Anywhere is good. Some days my legs want to stay up higher, some days they want to sink further. It just depends on the day. So hips are squared forward, feel free to make, take a, a wider gap if you want to sink a bit more. And maybe you're going to come off the heel and onto the toes, wherever feels good for you. So you're going to start sinking into that front knee, so in time we're trying to get the 90 degree angle. And then, when you're comfortable, you feel good wherever you are, you can either play around with the arms out to the side, or you can inhale the arms up to the sky. Maybe they're nice and wide, or maybe the hands come to a prayer position. You relax the shoulders, and then you take that gaze up. Just wherever feels good for your body today, don't push it, just take your time and take some gentle breaths there. So we're in our warrior one, be a bedrassana one. Lovely, so you're going to exhale the hands down in front of the chest. We're going to move into our warrior two or be able to two. So we're going to pivot on the back heel. So the back heel and toes come to face the left edge of the mat. The front toes are going to stay facing the top edge of the mat. And then again, our right knee is either going to be over the right ankle or slightly behind, wherever it feels best for you. Your hips are going to square off to the left edge of the mat. And then we want to be checking our core stays nice and aligned and central. So we're not too far forward or too far backwards right in the centre. And then you're going to sink into that right knee to where it feels good, so either over the ankle or slightly behind. Check back in with that alignment again, making sure we're nice and central. 
Then you're gonna take your arms up to your side, relax those shoulders, active abs, so they're not falling one day, down one side or the other, they're not loose, nice and active, but the shoulders are relaxed. And then you're gonna take that gaze over that front middle finger, and then you're gonna relax with some breaths there. on the opposite side so move to warrior one so we're going to pivot straight through that front leg we're going to pivot on the front heel so the front toes can start working around to come first onto the 90 and then we're going to pivot on the left heel so the left toes can now face the back of the mat and then again pivot on that back heel so the foot can come into the 30 to 40 degree angle once again now this time you want those hips to be squared to the back of the mat but once again you can come off that heel and onto the toes or you can have the heel down to the ground wherever it feels best for you and again we're going to be sinking that front knee so it's either over front ankle trying to work into the 90 degrees so maybe you want to separate your legs a little bit or maybe it's going to be slightly behind wherever it feels best for you just find some alignment squaring those hips forward then once you're there and comfortable you can inhale take the arms to the side or maybe take them up to the sky nice wide tree or maybe the hands come to a prayer and relax the shoulders down. Or I just said wide tree, I mean wide stance. And just relax, maybe take that gaze up to the sky and then take some breaths there. Just relaxing. And then exhale those hands down in front of the chest, going to move into warrior two. So we're going to pivot on that back heel so the back toes can come and face the now right edge of the mat. You're going to square those hips to the right edge. You can open it nice and wide. That front knee, again, is either for all, going to be over front ankle or slightly behind, wherever feels best for you. So you might want to separate the legs a bit more if that feels better. And then you want to check in with that core. So we're over, we're nice and aligned in the center. Again, we're not too far forward or too far backwards. Nice and aligned. And then you're going to take those arms out to either side. You're going to relax those shoulders. And then you're going to take that gaze over that front middle finger. And then you're just going to soften with some breaths there. So again, shoulders are relaxed. The arms are not floppy though. They're nice and active. And then just taking some breaths. to release the hands down straight and through that front leg pivot on the top heel so the toes can face the edge of the mat and then we're going to heel toe heel toe our way back up to standing back to the feet together and then we're going to be working to come down onto our mat so feel free to come down in any way that feels good for you or we can just take a little bit extra strengthening if we want to so to do that we can come onto our toes active core we can take those arms out in front of us and then we're going to bend in those knees and start taking that body down to the ground as i say feel free to come down in your own way but once we get down we are going to take a nice squeeze and hug so we're going to take our arms around our shins and then drop our head down and give ourselves a nice hug and become like a little ball and just take some breaths there Well, then release those hands down come onto that bottom straighten those legs out long and we're going to come down onto our backs now so feel free to come straight down or maybe take those hands out in front into the fingers index finger can point out active core and then you're going to start slowly lowering down to the ground releasing bringing those knees in towards the stomach area Maybe taking your hands around the back of the thighs or in front of the shins and then just rocking from side to side just to ease out that back now. Nice and gentle, slowing it down. 
enjoying those breaths. And you've worked hard today, so being grateful, showing yourself some gratitude. Have a nice big hug. Wonderful. And then we're going to lower those feet down to the ground. We're going to straighten the legs out long. We're coming into our final relaxation, so our shavasana. So we can allow our toes to drop up to either side. Palms of the arms can face upwards. We're going to palms of the hands can face upwards. We can relax those shoulders and just soften and take some moments here. And I encourage you to spend as long here as time allows today. Thank you very much and namaste.